Hi friends, welcome to Infocular. We'll be dealing with a very interesting concept from gynecology and pediatrics called as intersex or ambiguous genitalia. So what is intersex and what is ambiguous genitalia? It is the discordance between any two organic sex criteria. These criteria include chromosomal, internal, gonadal, and phenotypic. For example, let's say a person has presence of testis internally but shows well-formed breasts externally. This ambiguity or discordance is called as intersex. Hermaphrodites are of two types. True hermaphrodites are those which show presence of ovaries and testis together. If ovaries is on left side, then testis is on right side. 46XX is the most common karyotype associated. And the most common cause is TDF translocation from chromosome Y to chromosome X. Pseudohermaphroditism can be of male and female types. The female causes are 21 alpha hydroxylase deficiency and WNT4 mutation. Male causes are testicular feminizing syndrome also known as androgen insensitivity syndrome. 5-alpha reductase deficiency, 11-alpha hydroxylase deficiency and an entity called mixed gonadal dysgenesis. In this diagram, the purple one reflects true hermaphrodite whereas the ambiguity of pseudo-hermaphroditism is represented here. <clears throat> Puberty is a sequence from thalarche to adrenarche, adrenarche to growth spurt, growth spurt to menarche. Thalarche, also known as breast budding. Adrenarche, which is development of pubic hair. And growth spurt means height increase. So you can remember it as BPH followed by menarche. Breast budding is an estrogen dependent process. Adrenarche is an androgen dependent process. This adrenarche in specific is detected by Tanner staging which has stage 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1 saying there is less growth of hair and less profuse. 5 saying the hair is dense, curly and profuse growth is seen. Delayed puberty occurs when thalarche <coughs> or breast budding occurs after the age of 14 years and menarche occurs after the age of 16 years. The causes are constitutional. Constitutional causes are important for males. It is the most common cause in males. Hypergonadotrophic hypogonadism is seen when there is ovarian failure, <clears throat> increased FSH, and Turner's syndrome, whereas hypogonadotrophic gonadohypogonadism is seen mostly in CNS abnormalities that affect the gonadotrophin secretion. Also, an entity called Kalman's syndrome, which is delayed puberty, plus anosmia, plus color blindness. So they've asked Kalman's syndrome before, and it is important. Next is precocious puberty. One should know the definition that thalarche occurs before the age of 8 years and menarche ends up occurring even before the age of 10 years. It is called precocious puberty. Causes can be central as well as peripheral. Next is testicular feminizing syndrome, also known as androgen insensitivity syndrome. It is cause of male pseudohermaphroditism and has 46 XY. However, it is an X-linked recessive disorder. 
It shows presence of intra-abdominal testis and epididymis. But there is no presence of uterus, cervix or vagina. Hence, primary amenorrhea is a clinical feature. A similar clinical feature that is primary amenorrhea is seen in Mullerian agenesis. This is however a person with 46XX that is female who has ovaries but no uterus and cervix and hence primary amenorrhea. So in a question that requires differentiation, the genotypic differentiation is the main cause and hence considering that this has two X chromosomes, this will show the presence of bar body which is a condensed and inactive member pair of, of a paired chromosome. So Mullerian agenesis is also called as MRKHS, that is Mayer Rokitansky Koster Hauser syndrome, is an important differential diagnosis where primary, primary amenorrhea comes with presence of ovaries and there will be 46XX and a bar body. However, in testicular feminizing syndrome, there is resistance to androgen in the body and hence the sexual characteristics is less and pubic hair is scanty. And there will be normal testosterone, but due to aromatization, the breast formation will be good. The height attainment will be tall. Due to insensitivity to testosterone, the pituitary hypothalamic axis will secrete high levels of LH. So whenever there is primary amenorrhea, but with presence of testis, with well-formed breasts, with high LH indication anywhere in the question, this will go for testicular feminizing syndrome. The treatment is estrogen therapy and gonadectomy, which uh, has been asked in the question, has to take place during puberty. And the third is vaginoplasty that can take place as a therapy. Next entity is congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which means that this is, by the picture itself, you can see it is seen in females. Uh, it is the most common cause of ambiguous sexuality in females. There is decreased cortisol levels and ACTH is high. First, let us understand the mechanism. These two are kidneys. Bilateral kidneys have suprarenal glands on top. They have a cortex and they have a medulla. The medulla we know secretes epinephrine or norepinephrine. Whereas the cortex is divided into zona fasciculata, zona reticulata and zona glomerularis. The zona glomerularis secretes aldosterone. The zona reticularis secretes testosterone and zona fasciculata secretes cortisol. This cortisol is decreased which in turn reduces, enhances ACTH level. It is an autosomal recessive disorder and there is no presence of ovaries, uterus or vagina but there is clitoromegaly and this is infantile Mullerian duct which failures to menstruate. This is the general metabolism. This is something that you can see how the aldosterone formation, cortisol and DHT, which is dihydrosterone, is formed through a series of steps and series of enzymes, 21 hydroxylase, 17 beta HST, 3 beta HST, all of these enzymes, 11 beta hydroxylase, contributing to the step of formation of cortisol, DHT and aldosterone. Any issue, any problem in the secretion of these enzymes leads to certain symptoms and this tabulated form is a very easy way to remember these symptoms. The first and foremost trick is you need to write A first and then T. And the second trick is whenever there is a 1, you have to read it as increased. So when you write 2 and 1, you have to read 2 for aldosterone and 1 which is increased testosterone. So increased testosterone in 21 alpha 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Also, you should be knowing that whenever there is testosterone increase, this will lead to precocious puberty in males. 
and virilizing in females <clears throat> whenever there is testosterone which is decreased it will lead to feminized feminization of men, men and precocious puberty in female similarly whenever there is aldosterone increased this will lead to salt retention and whenever there is aldosterone decreased this will lead to salt wasting once you know this concept it is very easy so 21 hydroxylase means there will be increased testosterone and hence there is ambiguous genitalia in males and precocious puberty in males salt wasting because aldosterone is decreased 11 b hydroxylase deficiency which will show increased testosterone and aldosterone and hence salt retention hypertension ambiguous genitalia in females and precocious puberty in males 3, 3 beta hst does not show any increase in any of the hormones and hence the following symptoms of salt wasting hypotension ambiguous genitalia in males precocious puberty in females 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency means increase in aldosterone and hence salt retention and hypertension no increase in testosterone and hence which means decreased testosterone and hence ambiguous genitalia in males and precocious puberty in females. Just remember this concept and the question will be very easy to solve. Now let's, few, let's solve few questions and see how much of the concept is clear. This question came in 2018 which says which of the following represents the common chromosomal structure for true hermaphroditism? And we said that 90% of the cases are associated with 46XX. Next question is, which one of the following drugs is used for fetal therapy of congenital adrenal hyperplasia? So dexamethasone is the drug of choice in such conditions. A 5-year-old boy presents with pubic hair development. Pubic hair development means precocious puberty. At the age of five year old he is tall and has increased pigmentation of genitalia and phallic enlargement the BP is also high measurement of which of the following hormones will be most likely to be diagnostic precocious puberty means testosterone level is high in this content in this condition and high BP here reflects that aldosterone is also high Hence, 1 and 1, so the answer is increase 11 deoxycholesterol. Hope you like the concept that we have detailed today. Kindly keep following us and let us know if you have any topics that you want us to pursue. We will be definitely watching over the comment section and helping whoever is interested. Have a happy reading.